Hi, it's Ron Brown for your Being Truly Well Minutes for today. And today I want to talk about something. What is holding the real you back from coming through? Think about that one for a minute. You know, each one of us has within us, I believe this firmly, embryonic truth. And I actually started writing the book. I got through about three pages last night. Um, And... The one thing that is very key in all of our lives is there is part of us that is just waiting for a chance to come out and to be forth and to truly unfold the plan that only we can create in our lives. And sometimes it's the whispers, and again there's the whispers exercise, and hopefully if you've been watching the series you click through and and uh, did the whispers exercise because it truly frees you up from the damaging voices of, of the past, from other people, your friends, your family, and others that, without meaning to, or maybe maybe meaning to in some cases, um, allowed uh, chains to be placed upon us to hold us back. But there's more than that. There's also some people that have the fear that if I unfold what's before me, that it will be unacceptable, that it won't be enough, that if I try and I fail, then there's nothing left, then what do I do then? Well, those things are doubts. And first of all, you are enough. You were born with enough inside of you. And you have a mission that only you can truly unfold. It might be your interpersonal relationships with others that inspire them to go on and do amazing things. You know, my sister is a teacher and, you know, she's had many, many students come through her doors. And I've always admired that in that she's constantly encouraging and developing people's lives. And that this is something that truly leaves an imprint, literally a fingerprint upon their lives that makes them a better person. Well, what do you have in your life? Where are you leaving your fingerprints now? Or are you always going behind with some pledge and scrubbing out those fingerprints and taking it away because it's not good enough, can't have that, that's messy. Shame on you. You have to be willing to go forth and leave your fingerprints of what you do behind in others' lives, in your own life, and along the way. Remember a few videos back we talked about the mile markers and the signposts, how amazing they are. They tell you where you are in your, in your progress and that you must continue on and keep making further progress no matter where it takes you. Sometimes you can take a journey and it's a, it's a futile one. Um, you go there and you go, ah, oh, why did he even go there? What, what happened, you know? I, I went there and nothing happened that I expected to happen. But maybe on the way, you had a conversation with someone. Or maybe a thought, a time of thinking occurred that changed your way of thinking. Then wasn't that journey worth it? So today I want you to think about what's holding you back from unfolding the potential inside of you. You know, you don't. Not everyone's going to be Donald Trump or or uh, Bill Gates or even Steve Jobs, an amazing man, that, a great visionary that we truly lost this past year. And you know, not every one of us is going to have our name known by everybody in the entire world. But the fingerprints that we do leave are they positive ones? Are they ones that are going to help others? Is what your embryonic truth, when it unfolds, going to be fully realized? Think about that one today. It's it's kind of a deep question. And uh, I've been giving it a lot of thought. You know, again, as you've been watching the series, you know that I'm in transition and um, looking for my next position. And I'm looking for where I'm going to live next. There's a lot of uncertainties. And it truly can become a burden. Uh, There can be some sleepless nights, and there's been sleepless nights, to be honest. 
But then I lift it up to the universe and I say, I know there's a plan for me. I know that if I unfold my truth from within, and I do it from a place of honesty, that I will find and continue on my path, and I will live where I'm meant to live, if I simply go forth and try and work at it. Not try in the sense, I'll try it, and if it doesn't work, I'll try something else. I'm talking about putting forth effort. Um, you know, I love the yoga quote, uh, the Yoda quote, uh, do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> you know, that's a, a great quote. A lot of logic in there. So you must do, you must take those action steps in order to find out, is the ground solid? Okay, so I turn a little bit this way. But listening to your truth in, within you is never going to guide you wrong. You know, no one who ever took a journey where they truly were coming from a place of honesty and truth within themselves, wanting to connect with their hidden potential, was ever, ever left on the side of the road because they're always moving. So even as I move forward in this next journey where I am going to interviews and I'm interviewing them as well, do I want to work for this person? Do I see this company that has all this wondrous product? Um, is it something that I would love to be working with? You know, you need to consider and listen within and take the right choices. So as you do that today, I, I hope that you will listen to yourself. You will not hold yourself back and you will actually take action steps moving ever forward. Don't let this flower that's within you waiting to blossom die upon the branch without ever being exposed and to bring forth its wonderful beauty and the seeds within that will then replicate that plant over and over and over again, ten or twenty fold, through experience of being around it. You are an influence. You do leave fingerprints everywhere you go. Don't always walk behind with Windex or Pledge and scrub them off. But appreciate the impact that you've made and how you continue to do so through your own unfolding and how it will help others. This is Ron Brown for your Being Truly Well Minutes. Have a great day.